This video is from my Most Important Cloud Concepts collection. If you'd like to watch the full series where I describe all concepts in a single video, check out the link in the description. In this video, we're going to be talking about the concept of auto-scaling. And also very closely related to horizontal scaling, uh, but this is really where you get a lot of power in cloud computing applications. So we saw with this horizontally scaled example, you know, you have multiple different machines here. I'm just going to redraw this really briefly. Um, say you initially set this to be, you know, three different machines that you want to provision for your application, right? And as we were kind of drawing up over here in the top left, you know, your application can grow very, very rapidly based on, you know, maybe someone posts something or I don't know, someone. Um, or maybe you get funding for your application or maybe just on launch day and uh, kind of your traffic explodes for some reason. Now, initially, when you set up auto scaling, you may say, okay, three instances looks good for me, right? This is something reasonable that I can start with. But how do you seamlessly deal with this situation up here, right? Like we don't want to necessarily be monitoring our graphs and say, oh, shoot, like we got an increase in traffic. Let's add a fourth instance over here and let's add a fifth instance over here. And the reverse also applies, right? When traffic kind of goes from really, really high and then drops down like this, um, then we want to maybe remove these instances, right? And this is what auto scaling is all about. Auto scaling is the concept where we can automatically add more instances or remove instances in response to fluctuating traffic or when the resources start to become exhausted in our application. Okay, and this is a very, very powerful concept. A lot of the different cloud providers handle this automatically for you. Uh, there's things like uh, what are called auto scaling groups in, in AWS, where you essentially create a group of different instances that can live within it. And then you set a metric to say, you know, when connections goes above some key value, then add a, an, another instance. And when it goes below, then remove an instance, or you can do it based on CPU utilization. There's a whole bunch of different metrics that you can hook into to automatically add and remove instances. So this is the key idea of auto scaling. Okay, let's move on to the next topic now. And this one is, is similar, but different enough that it warrants, I think, uh, a new screen here. 